It is Manchester United 3, Fulham 1. Manchester United knocking out Fulham to go straight to the semi-finals, baby, against against Brighton, who will be playing Brighton and them men's up in the beach at Wembley Stadium. Yes, we are going to Wembley for the semi-finals, but let's get to this game because, hold on a minute. Today, Manchester United against Fulham. Manchester United winning because Fulham were two men down. Those... Red two red cards made things different and changed the game around because why Manchester United we were shit in the first half against Fulham. Fulham deserved to be up as well. That first 45 minutes, Manchester United was so damn poor. Fulham was a better team in the first half. United was poor, sloppy in that first half, giving away. Couldn't get themselves started. Let's be real. We couldn't get ourselves started. We just couldn't get the pass together. Bruno Fernandez was horrible trash in that first 45 minutes it stank as well in the midfield we were so open so easy to go through scott mctominay sometimes non-existent in his position non-existent in that midfield or hold just going through mentioning that getting fingered through the middle everyone having their fun and also beats that was there we couldn't create opportunities in the first 45 minutes we and i was so poor and it can, you can just see it you can see it coming Ten Hag was pissed. He was like going, mm -mm, I don't like this. Clear, clear, I don't like this. Huh? What is this football? Huh? Pass the ball. Huh? And even us, we was like, mm -mm, I don't like what I'm seeing. And it showed and it reflected in the second half. Because why? That's when Manchester United conceded that goal in the second half. A beautiful cross there from Pereira. Flicked on by Billy Diop. And then Mitrovic finishing it off. Being a portrait that he is. Mitchell would set in Fulham to go 1-0 up. And then a lot of things happened. A moment of madness. Manchester United getting himself in position. Sancho being opened up, squared up from Anthony. Sancho touching, controlling, trying to finish it off. And blocked by a hands of Willian from Fulham. And then, of course, breath went to check VR. And it was a blatant handball. In fact, I was screaming, red card, red card, red card, red card. The referee went to have a look at the VAR machine. Then eventually, he before that he got there, he sent off uh, Marco Silva, the manager of Fulham. And then after that, sending off Mitrovic as well for chatting shit and pushing him. Mitrovic, I don't know what he was doing. And then eventually, sending off William. That was three red cards in a space of 40 seconds. Fulham were gobsmacked. Their mouth was so open, thinking, what just happened? I, I literally just turned my neck and looked back, and we got three red cards. Oh my god, no way. If I was a Fulham fan, I'll be pissed off. I, I know what it no, I know what it is, and I know it's not a good look because Manchester United's fortune changed. It, of course, it was a penalty. Bruno Fernandes, the captain, steps up, scores, makes it 1 1. And then within two minutes, Sir Pizza finishes it off with a lovely cross, low cross. By Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw finding him and Tabitza finishing it off. And the referee tried to pull it off. VL tried to pull it off. But no, it was on side from both of them. And then the last seconds of the match, Fred finding space, finding Bruno Fernandes to smash that ball in the back of the net. Manchester United prevailing, going through to the next round, winning three goals to one against Fulham. What a comeback it was for Manchester United. But that red card, those two red cards, in fact, three red cards made a difference. No manager. No striker, no left winger. Made an extreme difference for, for Manchester United to win that game. We were so fortunate. We were so lucky to win that game because we don't really deserve it. But things are going our way. Manchester United to play Brighton in the next game in the semi-finals at Wembley. Hopefully Manchester United can deliver. Again, full-time, as I was saying, guys, 3-1 to Manchester United. Player-wise today, Bruno Fernandes in the second half. Um, of course, in the first half, he was poor. But the second half... Just slightly better to get those two goals, the penalty and the goal as well, smashing it in. Sancho, delicious second half performance and bring back Manchester United. Absolutely involved in every part of the two goals for Manchester United. Maguire was as well okay, but he was poor as well. He was being booed by his own fans to make him hurry up with the ball. So Pizza getting his first goal, I'm happy for him. And Anthony coming on, making the game changing difference as well. Big up Anthony. Man of the match today, today, I'm going to have to give it to Sancho. Second off, involved in those two goals. Made a difference as well. Created some spaces. He had a good game. Don't give the match. I'll have to give it to McTominay. This guy is non-existent in midfield. He just, seriously, when he's in midfield, everything goes right through him. 
that he hides as well in games. He needs to really improve in his positional play for Manchester United. It is what it is, guys. This has been your match to reaction from your boy, Ivory Spies. Let me know who your man of the match is as well. Let me know who your donkey of the match is. Let me know what your thoughts are in the, of the match in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and press the notification bell so you can be the first one to watch any video that comes out of Red United TV. And join us tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time, for the catch up volume 96 or 97, 98. I, don't, I can't remember on Instagram exclusively on Instagram. So make sure you follow Red United TV 1 on Instagram to watch that 8 p.m. UK time. Till next time, guys. As always, we'll see you next time. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready now because your boy Ivor Spice is out. Peace.